Hi everyone, today we're going to be learning about dichotomous keys. Dichotomous keys are a useful tool for identifying organisms and will typically be included in most good plant identification books. In this video, I'm going to be going over some concepts relevant to the keys, then going over some examples of actually how to use the keys. If in this video you start to feel confused or don't know what's going on, feel free to check out my basics of leaf identification video, or you can just drop a comment below and I'll try my best to answer you. Also, if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. Now let's go ahead and get started with learning about dichotomous keys. There are two different types of dichotomous keys, indented and bracketed. We're going to be starting with indented. Before we get too deep, what does dichotomous mean? All it means is that we are presented with two options. As you can see, there is two of every number on this key. Each pair of statements is called a couplet. That's really all the background information we need before we can get started. So let's go ahead and work some examples. Here is our first unknown leaf. If we take a look at couplet 1, we are faced with two choices. Is our leaf simple or is our leaf compound? Our leaf is simple, so we will continue to couplet 2 because it is below couplet 1. Couplet 2 again gives us two options. This time, it is asking whether our leaf is entire and smooth or entire and toothed. Our leaf is entire and smooth, therefore, based on the key, this leaf is eastern redbud, otherwise known as Circus canadensis. Let's do one more indented key example before we move on to the bracketed key. If we look at couplet 1, is our leaf simple or compound? Our leaf is compound, so we will move on to couplet 4 this time, which asks if our leaf is palmately compound or not. Our leaf is not palmately compound. This means we will move on to couplet 6. There we are asked if our leaf is doubly compound or pinnately compound. Our leaf is pinnately compound, so our leaf must be black walnut, otherwise known as Juglans nigra. Alright, now let's move on to bracketed keys that are very similar to indented keys. You may notice that each couplet is now adjacent to each other, and instead of the next couplet being directly below the step you picked, now there is a number that guides where you're supposed to go in the key based on your answer. Let's do a couple examples here to clear up any confusion. Here's our first leaf. We start at couplet 1, which asks if our leaf is simple or compound. It's simple, meaning now we have to go to couplet 2. This asks if our leaf is entire and smooth, or not entire and is toothed. Our leaf is not entire and is toothed, so we will go to couplet 3. Here we are asked if our leaf has 3 or 5 lobes, which it has 3 lobes, so it must be red maple, otherwise known as Acer rubrum. Let's do another example, starting out at couplet 1. Is our leaf simple or compound? It's compound, therefore we will go to couplet number 4, which asks if our leaf is palmately compound or not, which it is. So now we will go to couplet 5, which asks if our leaf has 3 or 5 leaflets. Our leaf has 3 leaflets, so our leaf is box elder, otherwise known as Acer nagundo. Alrighty, thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed learning about dichotomous keys with me. I'll have a list of the vocabulary words that we went over in the video in the comment section below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you all in my next video.